We have this really evasive species of a super weed plant, I'd call it around here. Right here, guys, I'm standing in the thick of it. I call it water bamboo. The only way I've ever known to get rid of this stuff is once a year when it's flowering. It's probably about yeah, six to eight feet high by then. It has big white flowers. To spray the flowers with Roundup. That brings the Roundup to the roots and it kills it. The only way I've ever heard of anybody getting rid of it. I don't want Roundup on my property. This right here isn't my property. This right here is. We have a little short stuff because I've been mowing it. So it's doing a lot better over here than it is over here. The one trick I'm gonna show you, I haven't put my chickens on it yet. I moved my chicken tractor right here onto it about two minutes ago. The chickens are loving the stuff. I mean, they're just shredding it. Look at them. It looks like it's their ice cream. I mean, they're just going to town. Can you hear them? Chomping away. I've never seen them so excited for greens. I move them twice a day and they're always eating the grass. But this time, I mean, they're just going hog wild. I'm gonna leave them here for at least 12 hours. I'll move them in the morning. If the area is looking good, if this stuff's looking good, like they've just eaten it and they haven't really scratched up the surface good, I'm gonna leave them there for another 12 hours and I'll move them when I get home from work. If when I wake up in the morning, the ground is really chewed up and there's not much of this, I'm gonna call it water bamboo left, then I'm gonna move them. But we're gonna keep an eye on it and this might be a way to get rid of the water bamboo without Roundup. So exciting. So if you guys can see here, I got a Decent little patch. Let me move around. We got a decent little patch of it over here. Somebody else owns this little piece of property over here. They mow it twice a year. So that's why all their way out of bamboo is dead. They just mowed it last week. They missed their tall patch over there. And this is all mine. So we're gonna run the chickens through this over the next couple of weeks and we're gonna see what happens. But just look at how crazy they've gone over this stuff already. I mean, they're just ripping chunks of the leaves off. Not my fingers, here. Not my fingers. These things are chicken ninjas. They're trying to eat me already. If you don't think everything's eaten and being eaten, go sit in a chicken tractor for a minute. And put your hand out. Watch. Ouch. I mean, they're just going crazy. What do you think these are, worms? But then again, they're friendly. These ladies just want to eat. I got them trained good. You move the chicken tractor and they want anything that's in their sight. Ouch! Oh, we saw that, guys. You're awesome. Keep it up. Don't eat my finger. See that one right there? Did you see that? They're loving this stuff. Comes Mr. King Rooster. Oh, he's going for the flower maybe. There's the other rooster. So I'm pretty excited to see what the chickens do with all this stuff. I mean, they're just shredding it already. They've been in here, look at that. There we go, yep, there you go ladies. Ouch, not my finger, not my finger. They're just shredding it, ouch. And they're shredding my fingers too. So I'm just excited to see what this looks like tomorrow morning. There you go, lady. You're a good chicken. Good chicken. Every 12 hours-ish, roughly twice a day, I move my chickens. I don't know if you can see all behind me. This is where I've been moving them from, and you can see where they've been eating. They're all right back here, the carpeted looking area. 
that's where they just came from. Sometimes they do really good clearing the grass. Sometimes they do good, but not as good as other times. Just take a walk up here and see. Right here, this patch right here, they did awesome clearing it out. So if I have to, I want where they are right now to look like this or a little bit better and clean out as much of that water bamboo as possible and we'll see if it comes back or not. Hopefully that'll give like the clover and all the other good grasses a head start and a chan better chance to get ahead of it. So we want that down there so you guys can see all the water bamboo that they're loving and eating on. I'm going to try to get that area in the field to look like all this. I'm sure you can hear the ducks in the background. They're pretty noisy, having fun. I'm going to go show them to you, give you a duck update. Sure, we leave the rooster, now he starts crowing. Here are the ducks. They're not laying eggs yet. But they are doing good. Alright guys, here are the ducks. They're not laying eggs yet. Hopefully soon we'll be getting some eggs from them. We got one, two silkies, four ducks, and one barred rock. The ducks are khaki Campbells. They're doing good. What a life. Oh, here she comes. Good morning guys, it's early in the morning. It's nice and foggy out, as you can see. We're gonna go move the chickens and see how good they did eating on the water bamboo and if we need to move them or not. Let's go see. The ducks are pretty talkative this morning. Let's go. Come on, Pluto. All right, so you guys can see the area, how tall the water bamboo was before they went on it. And after... About 12 hours... This is what it looks like. Not too bad. We'll go ahead and we'll move them this morning and we'll see what it looks like today when we get home from work. Here I'm just like, crunching away in the water bamboo. So I'm no expert at getting rid of the water bamboo this way, but I'm gonna try it. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm thinking it's really gonna work. Just have to leave the chickens there longer and longer if I need to. But I'm really pumped. I don't want to use Roundup here. We're trying to go natural, organic, and keep all the pesticides and herbicides off the property. We haven't used any yet. And we're just, or fertilizers, we're just using the chickens, pig manure, wood chips, and stuff like that around here. So if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres.